Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. On the southeastern edge of downtown, near the rail yards along the concrete shores of the LA River, one of the city's newest developments seems impossible to ignore. It's massive. I just loved it. It's, it's uniquely sited. One Santa Fe is billed as an urban community, a sprawling mixed-use development, which includes 438 apartments and dozens of retail storefronts. I think the way that people are living uh, is shifting rapidly. Charlie Rose works for Canyon Capital Realty, which financed the $2 billion project. We saw that One Santa Fe would be the capstone for what is already a very vibrant community, and the mass of One Santa Fe has really allowed it to, to be that. We're all familiar with tall buildings in downtown LA, but One Santa Fe is the longest building in Los Angeles, coming in at a little over a quarter of a mile long. In fact, it's um, as long as the Empire State Building is tall. The two rectangular buildings are meant to look like passing trains. The stark white walls, accented by red patios, line the outskirts of downtown's arts district. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else here in, in, in Los Angeles. Mark Spaulding is one of several dozen residents who participate in an affordable housing program which helps low-income artists. I was fortunate enough to, to uh, get in on that. A total of 88 units here have been designated for low-income residents. Otherwise, you can expect to pay anywhere from $1,500 to $4,500 a month for one of these apartments. I never felt the, the, the community, the community sense that you feel here in the art district. It's just amazing. 